In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow tons of pumpkins from seed. I'm Natalie Lucier, and this is the Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery channel, and I'm gonna be sharing with you my best tips for getting seeds in a very inexpensive way, and then growing tons of pumpkins, whether you have a small backyard or a farm like we do. So how do you get the best pumpkin seeds for your region? You could buy seeds online or at the store. There are tons of places to buy them. You can also swap with other gardener friends of yours, and also you could save them from pumpkins that you buy. Now here is my biggest tip for you and it is perfect for this season. What you want to do is you want to find a local farm that grows pumpkins and then wait until after Halloween and see if they're willing to part with those pumpkins for a little bit less money. So that's what we did last year. We found a local farm that's literally down the street from us and they had hundreds of pumpkins for sale that no one bought on Halloween. So we were able to buy so many pumpkins for $30 and then they also came over and helped us unload the pumpkins and move them for another $20. So for $50 $50, we got tons of pumpkins which we fed to our sheep all winter and our chickens and geese as well. Now why do I say find a local farm? That's because yes you could go to a big box store and a grocery store and buy a pumpkin there but chances are those pumpkins did not grow locally. They might have been shipped in from a different state or even country. And so what you want to do is try to find something that's local, talk to the farmer, and find out what varieties they are so you know exactly what you can do with those pumpkins too. Now when it comes to opening up those pumpkins and saving those seeds you have a couple different options. So the first one is the obvious one. You cut up those pumpkins, you take the seeds out, you wash them out, you dry them out, and then you're ready for spring planting. But that's not how we did things last year. So let me rewind. During the winter, we put our sheep in a sacrifice area. So that just meant somewhere that we didn't have anything planted and we kind of knew would get trampled and wouldn't be an amazing spot the next year. So what we did is we cut up those pumpkins and gave them to our sheep almost every single day during the winter. And throughout the winter, they were eating hay and we were putting down straw. So what ended up happening is that there were some seeds that they didn't eat and they got mixed in with the straw, the hay, and their manure. Now come spring, we were so surprised with how many pumpkins started growing in that sacrifice area. We started seeing pumpkin sprouts here and there and then suddenly we had these giant plants and tons of pumpkins as you can see came out of that method of planting. So here's how you can apply that method for your garden. What you'll want to do is find a spot that's fairly big and then start putting some compost material down. So we've actually grown pumpkins directly in a manure pile that we had from a horse manure pile from leftover years gone by and those also grew extremely well. But you could also just use any type of scraps or compost that you have going. Then you slice open those pumpkins you got from your local farm or the ones you bought or swapped. Start sprinkling those around and then make sure they're also covered again with more compost or more compostable material. You could use spent grass or other things that you have around your yard that you're not going to be using. As long as it's high value and it will decompose and start feeding those seeds in the spring. So just let those seeds overwinter in that compost area and watch out come spring because you'll start to see these sprouting up and you'll have beautiful pumpkin vines and tons of pumpkins to show for it. And if you are going to grow vertically with a trellis or a fence or something like we did here, just make sure your pumpkins don't get stuck in the fence. Take them out as soon as you see them growing in there. Otherwise, you have to cut them open when you're harvesting, which is not the best way to go. Now remember, pumpkins are heavy feeders, which means that if you are growing these in compost, they probably have everything they need to grow. But if you don't have a lot of compost or manure or other things to help it grow, you'll probably want to add some at the start of the season to make sure they really do well throughout the summer. So that is just a little cart full of the pumpkins and squash that I just picked. Our basement is full of the rest of them. We probably have about 200 or so. And when it comes time to harvest your pumpkins, make sure that you pick them before they get wet or start rotting. You can put a piece of cardboard underneath or you can grow them vertically which is a great option if you don't have a ton of space because pumpkins do take up a ton of space once they get going and when you're picking your pumpkins you'll want to make sure that they are clean and dry when you're storing them and also if there are any that have any nicks or that seem to be oozing liquid those are the ones you'll want to eat first or preserve or in our case feed to our sheep first so last year we stored all of the pumpkins we bought from that local farm in our small barn here and we ended up with a ton of mice eating a lot of our pumpkins and even this year, we've had a couple of mice taking bites of our pumpkins that we left out here. So we put the majority of them in our basement, but we do still have some that were in the barn and got eaten. There are also tons of different types of pumpkins and pumpkin varieties.
berries and squash. So this is called a tatume. It is extremely prolific. We also have acorn squash. And this is what happens when you pick seeds from year to year, you end up creating a land race. So in our case, this is a mix of a yellow zucchini and a tatume. So as you can see, it's elongated and it has a couple of properties from zucchinis and from tatumes. And we also have some of these beautiful bluish gray pumpkins, which are amazing for cooking in stews and all kinds of different recipes that you can find all over YouTube. I should also add that these pumpkins do not replace our sheep's main primary food. So they are still getting pasture or right in the winter, we're giving them hay. So they still have their primary food and then they also have usually some grains. They love the seeds. They will usually eat all the flesh and certain types of pumpkins, they'll also eat the skin. Some of them are really hard, so they might not. But these make for treats that they absolutely love eating. So now that you know how to grow a ton of pumpkins, I want you to watch the next video all about our dairy sheep. And they were the inspiration in how we got all of these pumpkins in the first place. They were responsible for growing all of them. So go ahead and watch that now.